Good morning and happy Thursday, Holiday Hill family. Josh here back in the youth room celebrating Throwback Thursday and Independence Day weekend. And our story takes us to New York and a guy by the name of Jaime Simon. Now, see, he was the son of Jewish immigrants. And when he was born, him and his sister were, by his own admission, a poor Jewish family. His dad was a tailor by trade in New York, and they barely got by. After he graduated high school, he became an artist. His first job was doing artwork for a couple yearbooks. He worked in production, different artwork for different areas, and then he found this cool medium called comic books. One thing I should mention about Jaime is that most people didn't call him by his actual first name. See, his dad wanted him named after one of his dad's cousins. His mom wanted him named after another family member, and they wanted to name him Joseph. So though his birth certificate said Jaime Simon, uh, mom always called him Joseph, or Joe for short. And as he was working in comics in the 1930s and 40s, he created this character this ultra patriotic guy and named him super American. But the problem was is that there was a lot of super characters. Super was overused. You know what wasn't overused? Captain. Captain wasn't overused. And he created this character called Captain America. He enlisted the help of um, two of his colleagues, but his best friend Jack Kirby was really offended by this. Jack wanted to know why he wasn't involved in this project, and Joe admitted the reason why was because he thought Jack was just overwhelmed with other projects. He didn't want to bother him, and Jack was hurt and insisted that he be a part of this project. Captain America, number one, though dated in March of 1941, actually dropped on December 20th, 1940, almost one year before the bombing of Pearl Harbor. See, Joe and Jack did not like what Hitler and the Nazis were doing. And they needed a character to embody how we as Americans need to stand up against evil and tyranny. And who better than Captain America punching Adolf Hitler in the jaw? That comic sold one million copies. And it was intentionally political. It was intentionally to stir sentiment and how we need to be evolved in fighting against the evil and tyranny of Adolf Hitler and Nazi Germany. But again, Joe was the son of Jewish immigrants. We come from all different places. We're different shapes, sizes, and shades of brown. But you know what? We're Americans. And this weekend, I encourage all of you to remember that. We may have differences, that's okay. But what can we unite under? What can we agree about? We are the united, not divided states of America, my friends. There are things we need to get together for to take on bigger tasks and bigger goals. So remember, sometimes the greatest things can come from the most unlikeliest of places. Captain America was certainly one of them. Take care, God bless, happy fourth. I'm Josh and I support this message.